The 2021 Hyde 900 community dig took place in August at Hyde on the outskirts of Winchester, exploring the remains of Hyde Abbey, the final burial place of Alfred the Great. The digs are open to any and children aged five or more are especially welcome. They take place in the gardens generously provided by residents, which we know used to be the site of the church and cloisters of Hyde Abbey. Over 150 people participated in this, the fifth dig of the series. This short film records some of the behind the scenes organisation of the dig, as well as the excitement that participants of all ages experience whilst uncovering the remains of this important abbey. On, yeah. on the bottom part there. Wonderful. If well, it was polished, it would be an, a nice sort of uh, greenish surface. This is something I found this morning, and it came out of our trench 27 at number 20, and it's a little bit of the same tile. And they actually think that if you match up this, it actually matches to this little star pattern in the bottom. And specifically that, because the moulds become slightly broken through use. And just like a dodgy penny black, there it is. Yeah, well done, that's a slate, yeah. I don't know, we were sent this from school, and I don't know how children might discover a love of archaeology if they don't take up an opportunity to have a dig and see what it's about. This is a really nice, this is kept really well. Mm. So it's really shiny, a few scratches, but that's really good. But no, that's my, that's my favorite find of the day. I said guys, they used to splutter it on. It's some sort of copper alloy. Um, it's probably got some age to it because it's not quite symmetrically uh, smithed. Mm -hmm. And then also you can see it's a bit um, puffed as well. You know, I did move in with the anticipation that we might be digging up that garden with some archaeologists. Oh, it's quite good fun. <laughs> It's not quite even that side, just because it's been handmade and not manufactured. And it would go on a cupboard and just click the shelf of the cupboard. I love just history and being able to get your hands dirty and dig into it and learn from experts and other people who are excited about it. The fact that it's a community dig as well, literally in someone's back garden is fantastic and it really brings together the sense of working together, which is brilliant. And they said, uh, they said that um, they think a skeleton is about and we'll wander around. So I said, well, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, there was a major ex excavation on the sort of uh, the, the apsidal end of, of the Abbey Church, and that defined precisely what that was. But other features, like you know, the cloisters, we think runs across the back of this garden where you're standing, but we don't quite know. 
fruit leaf uh, post release. That one's actually got decoration on it, isn't it? I first got involved in Hyde 900 at a party where I met uh, David Sperling, one of the uh, organisers of Hyde 900, and he heard I was a geologist and wanted to get me to identify some of the stones that were used to build the abbey. The reason we want to do this is because some type of stone was used very early on in the building of the abbey in 1110, uh, and other types were used later on and by analysing the stone we can get an idea of the history of the building of this abbey. A set of uh, stones called voussoirs, sort of stones which make up a Roman arch, which were we found in one of the gardens reused in the foundation of, of, of the abbey. my foot on it and I bash the spade up and down, not only can I feel my left foot vibrating but also my right foot which is a fair way back um, and so that, that indicates that there is a large heap of big chunks of building material effectively. Plaster, and then they've put fine plaster on the top and that's been painted and decorated. What animal do you think that's from? A dinosaur. So you could be really robust with this. So it's a case of spoil into the bucket, bucket down to the sieve area, then sieve. Do not worry about missing anything because when you sieve, you will find anything that's actually in the soil. So David's been working in here and because he's so quick, but you know, we're on a probably abutting the medieval yep. bit now. Yep. Okay. So David, David's just gone. Years ago, we've observed other archaeological digs, looking for King Alfred's bones, etc. And we all said, and many, many years ago, come and dig in our garden. We're uh, the lucky recipients of all of these volunteers here, and at an interesting, curious wall. You're very attached to that, aren't you? We found a bit of bone comb, a very small piece of bone comb, with very, very fine teeth, which was really interesting. Um, and we've had some encaustic tile and we've had some medieval roof tile. So it's looking pretty positive and I think the trench that we have behind us, um, it looks as if we're getting to some form of floor layer at the bottom. It's under a, a, a compacted layer of demolition rubble, which we think is trampled from the original demolition. Can I introduce David Sperling, who's the lead for this project? <laughs> The, the doing as much as the finding and it brings the community together and you know he's been coming since he was a lot smaller than this and it's a chance for them to find out a bit about the amazing city they live in and if you live in a city like this and you don't like history I think you're in the wrong place. I mean it's very typical of what we found elsewhere uh, in the in the abbey complex uh, looks like a substantial medieval wall I never did like that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame because it's very good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> What we might find in your garden is a medieval wall that goes this way. Can you remember that the last time that those stones saw the sunshine was over 900 years ago? 900 years, they've been buried. Well, this 
mothers always try to keep these children busy during yes. the school holidays. Absolutely. They might like to do that. Absolutely. And the whole family decided they were going to come. And I thought, well, I'm going to do that too. And I, I yes. thought, well, I'll go on. Um, so that's really in the spirit of the community. Yes. 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 Yes